What is up, guys? Welcome to another episode of Dave Reviews. Uh, today, going to be going over Marshall Chapter 32. Is there a title? Title Mosh Burn the Dead and the Surprising Strike. So, last chapter, Mosh effectively just busted down the door to Abel, who controls these crazy looking ass puppets. And Mosh is on a mission to get this motherfucker to hands. <laughs> So he comes in. He was initially trying to knock on the door. Door just goes fucking flying. Abel, you surprised me. Mosh, like, uh, what? I thought Rain was the only student capable of facing the evil eye. And that lets me know a good bit about Rain. So Rain's up there. I'm sure. And he's got magic, Rain does. Mosh doesn't, so it just leads me to ask some questions about Rain. Abel, you can't possibly be a better magic user than Rain. But could it be that Mosh with this <laughs> gab, <laughs> this <laughs> gab, <gasps> what are you doing, Mosh? He's got. <gasps> <gasps> Abel's confused. It's like, what's wrong with you? <laughs> My just, no, it's nothing. Please go on. In any case, you seem quite capable. And Marsh just wipes his brow. I guess, I don't know what the fuck he's talking about. <laughs> what is wrong with you, Marsh? Said, which is why you should understand. This world is not fair, nor does it treat everyone equally. I mentioned our beastly natures to you once before. I can't abide by defective genes. We are positioned to take from others. Those we pity take advantage of us. And so we selfishly uphold our advantages. Audacious of us, is it not? Why then do we burden ourselves with useless baggage? Mosh is like, what the fuck are you talking about? Mosh says, and those people who can't use magic, what happens to them? Yes, those people. We must dispose of them. Now look, Mosh is used to having shit talking about him. But in this particular instance, like, I don't remember about his grandfather or his dad, but I'm not, I don't think his dad either has that much magic or can use magic at all either. I'm not sure. I don't remember. But Mosh is like, yeah, fuck that. <laughs> fuck what you talking. What? No, Mosh, that's, I was hyping you up. What is this look? Mosh is looking with some drool like, huh? What? <laughs> Merely segregating them from society is too kind. I will fix this broken system, and we mustn't forget the underachievers and those who shelter the weak. Marsh is now looking pissed. Kinda? Maybe? I don't know. Who shelter them? And he's thinking about his dad or his grandfather, and he's looking, he's like, Marsh, you're such a good, honest boy. The Mosh as a baby out here doing back hand flips with no fucking hand. Come on. <laughs> what is this, Mosh? <laughs> Said what? A double back somersault at this age? Says, my green puff, you grabbed it before I could finish it. <laughs> Says, Mosh, I'm proud of you, my son. Yeah, Mosh thinking back on his dad is like, nigga, I'm doing all of this for him. I'm about to fuck you up. <laughs> Mosh just says, okay, I understand. Your way is kind of a problem for me. So I don't think we can be friends. With this just bland face, I thought we could be cool. Came in here trying to break bread, make the peace. You went on this whole monologue now. I got a body, you son. 
Abel was like, what the fuck? Meaning you don't understand. It seems you're a little dense. And defective genes must be eradicated. So he says in these puppets, we're back to love. Love is walking. I think she's walking towards Abel. Says, phew, I worked my pigtails off today. Is the door broken? What? Mosh, body in these damn puppets. We're the back and get the fuck off of me. I told you. I told you I'm about to give you these hands, boy. <laughs> Love, I walked in on Lord Abel fighting Mushroom Head. Talk about bad timing. So he decapitates one of these puppets. It then is spilling a fluid. That's not blood because puppets don't have that. I think it's acid or something. Mosh evades. Yep. Abel, that doll has acid in it. You might want to tread carefully. Mosh grabs the head that he just knocked off. Got it. What exactly is his plan, says Love? This man's about to bow! So the... <laughs> He's an all-around sportsman. Oh, man. So he takes the pose, backs up, sliding, looking clean. These uh, dumb man's fucking dolls are running towards him. And he takes the pose of bowling. Takes a, a vicious breath or sigh. <sighs> looking fucking fierce. Mosh oh, grabs that shit with all his might and just slings that bitch at the dolls. Love, huh? Uh, what? Wait a minute. But these mu the head is ricocheting off of the other dolls, also making the dolls fly into the other dolls and destroying them. For somebody who is mm, what's the word I'm looking for? Um uh, somewhat of an airhead. Mosh really be putting some some thought into his his attacks. Low key, they might seem simple as fuck, but they're effective as fuck too. Super fucking effective. Love, he took them all out with a single roll to avoid touching them, and they're done. They're fucking done. Like a bunch of bowling pins. <laughs> Says Love. So, you mentioned something about defective genes. If I manage to beat you, what does that say about your genes? Yeah, that's a good point, nigga. That's a good point. If I beat that ass, if I beat your ass, <laughs> what's that say about you? You're trash. <laughs> and I don't even have magic. But you don't know that, do you? <laughs> Abel, you don't know when to keep quiet. Mosh, also, what did you do with Lemon? I have no idea who you're talking about. The only thing I've taken from the other students is magical power. Marsh, looking kind of fierce now. Only. You're making them sick. He says, I told you, says Abel. The strong take from the weak. That's all right. And these jester looking dolls come up. And Mosh, like they open, I don't know if they're going to have a blast that comes out or whatever. They got buttons for eyes, but Mosh does not look impressed. Abel, you lack the power to stop them, but that's because you've hit your limit. What? What? Have you seen what this man can do? Clearly not. Clearly, you're his limit. Mosh has no limit. He is the Saitama of this story. <laughs> so these puppets come in rushing over. Love, it's over. They get sent flying back because they're fodder. Abel just sitting there looking like, Whoa, I don't even know what the fuck happened. Yo, these things are breaking into fucking pieces. All of them just hit the wall. They're destroyed. 
damn, if that would <laughs> these things look like they got fucked. Fucking hell. Abel, he has grown since last time. Give me the pose! Give me the pose! Give me the pose where he's just talking shit! He said, you, you, you will be the first of my victims, you piece of shit! <laughs> you bring that ass here so I can put these hands on you, boy! <laughs> said, the strong take from the weak, and that's their right? Right? Said, then when I win, you'll tell me where Lemon is, you piece of shit. <laughs> love, able shock, love, like, I, I think I should move back home. <laughs> able, what are you doing? Absolutely nothing. That's the end of the chapter. Out here talking about that shit. You ain't, you, you, you trash. You trash, able. Mosh is about to give you them hands. <laughs> Straight up. <laughs> Straight up fisty cups. Whew. That's the end of the chapter, guys. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe. And check out some of the other content on the channel. But pass it. I'll catch y'all in the next one. Peace.